It was in this church, in this very hall, among many of you, that I first heard the human rights lawyer Sudan Shahakian. The 44 day war self war still fresh in my mind. I felt at that time what I think a lot of us felt hopeless. As larger and more powerful forces attacked our lands, we watched the rest of the world stand silent. Each day brought knowledge of a new tragedy. Unable to prevent the crimes we were presented with each and every day. Siddhanush seemed to be the light in the darkness, a candle in the night. In this hall, hearing Siddhanush talk, I felt for the first time that someone was answering my midnight question. How could justice possibly be found? She talked about the prisoners of the Aksaf War. For the first time, I heard all the facts, the cruel truth, the reality of the numbers. I remember listening, enraptured by her words, dotting down each and everything that she said. Not only did I see the problems more clearly, but I saw a course through which action could be taken. International courts. Siranush, with the support of the Armenian Legal Center, was not one of the people who idly stood and watched. She stepped up to the plate and found a way to change the situation. The opportunity to work with Siranush was the highlight of my summer and will continue to inspire me for the rest of my life. During the war, she started the process of taking each human rights violation to international courts. She collected evidence from video recordings to individual accounts, sifting through and purposely putting herself in the front of the cruelest aspects of humanity. Each day, hearing the painstaking accounts and visuals of tortured and mutilated individuals. In the time between that first meeting and the internship, Siddhanush became my idol. And not some distant icon, a movie superhero, but a real hero, a human hero, and a Romanian hero. I hope to be just like her. That's not an easy task. When I first began the internship, reading through the collections of evidence tore me down. Some nights, I didn't know what to do but cry. The stories of each soldier stayed with me. Their lives stayed with me. Their service, their sacrifice, their suffering stayed with me. Their age, the same as mine, but their life so vastly different. See that was just strength? Her power, her perseverance pushed me to continue the work. To understand that while it was hard, getting to know each soldier was necessary to deliver the justice they deserved, that each of their families deserved. I'm not a lawyer, but through the internship working with Sidanush and with the help of law students, I was able to play a part in that justice. I learned to turn evidence I had spent so much time with into a draft case summaries and structured evidence. I signed his laws here in the U.S. to learn if sanctions were a possible alternative. I watched as European court case submissions got turned into the, the European Court of Human Rights. Through the entire process, I learned there are ways. There are ways we can help, whether that is going through a po protest, pressuring members of Congress, doing service projects, or writing a case summary because each of us play a part in the solution. Each of us, a single candle that together lights the night. And when the path ahead is not clear, when there is no way, we make a way. Because yet she didn't get a job, fed her